Let's discuss a paradox that is keeping you from succeeding and many, many millions of other people from succeeding. It's the skill versus time paradox. Now you may think, hey, if I spend a lot of time updating my skill, over time, it will increase. So if you plotted that, it would look a little something like this. Skill versus time, up we go. Now, of course, it may go faster, it may go flat, it may even decrease over time. But it's a variation of one of those. The thing is, as humans, we don't learn in a linear fashion like this. We actually learn in the following way, and this is a biological explanation. We form new connections between neurons in our nervous system or our brain. Then we get this substance called myelin that wraps over those neurons and slowly insulates them. The reason it's doing that is so the signal going through the neurons doesn't leak out. And that means the signal actually gets from where it's starting to where it needs to go. So if I think about moving my hand, that's passed through a whole bunch of neurons insulated by myelin okay and just as a an aside the loss of myelin results in diseases i think like parkinson's you know tremors and things like that because you can't control the signals as well anymore or they're leaking out as they travel through the system okay so coming back to skill versus time everyone thinks it operates linearly the thing is whenever you form your neural connection here and if this is myelin on the outside, whenever you form that, the connection doesn't work properly until there's a certain layer, a certain thickness of myelin on the outside of that nerve, right? So you will get no signal, no signal, no signal, or very weak signal until a certain point when it doesn't leak and bang, you've got the signal. So if we translate that into the chart here, that actually comes out looking like this. So when you first start learning a skill like programming, there is this long, long period right here where it feels like you're learning nothing. But what's actually happening is that neural connection is slowly building up layers of myelin, right? It's slowly insulating it so the signal will eventually get to the point where it can get through without being hindered or leaked out. And that point represents here on the graph. That could be anything up to six months to a year, right? So I've seen this time and time again. People that take my courses or learn with me, a lot of them will give up before that point because they think they're learning nothing and therefore they think it's their fault and that programming isn't for them. Well, all they did really was give up sort of here or here or here. They didn't know how close they were to actually completing that first step. The good news is, if you can get through the struggle of those first six to 12 months, then the next steps become progressively smaller. So you will notice that your brain becomes more attuned to programming itself. It, it becomes attuned to programming itself to learn to program, if you like. And these steps get smaller and smaller over time and you go up the chart and it's much more noticeable that you're getting better at what you do. There is a secondary effect as you go up this chart, which is the feeling that you are becoming an expert, which actually drives you uh, on further and faster than just willpower alone. Okay, so that's the skill versus time paradox. Remember, you are not on the brown line. You are actually on the black line. And just because you don't feel your skill coming through yet, doesn't mean that it's not just around the corner. If you have an idea for an app, website, or piece of software, then before you build anything, listen to this. You need to know whether or not your idea is actually viable and valuable in terms of money. So to help you with that process, I've put together a PDF called the Software Entrepreneur's Flowchart. It allows you to take an idea, put it in the top of the funnel, and work it down through the flowchart so you can understand the areas you need to focus on and some of the potential pitfalls that you may come across. The whole idea behind the spreadsheet is to save you a whole bunch of time when thinking up new ideas, developing them and launching them. You can get it totally for free at imdev.net forward slash software.